Um, you tell yourself leading up to it, like there's no other, uh, there's no other option but to win, you know, and that's how you have to do it. Because if you're going into it thinking, oh, there, there may be a chance we lose, well, you're probably going to lose. You know, you got to go into it with everything you got in your heart. And so when it's ripped out of you, it's like you weren't prepared for it, you know, because you were only thinking of one option the entire time. So, um, yeah, that's probably why it hurts. Fred, have you spoken to Dre and just how is he doing the last few days? Yeah, I've, I've spoken to him. Uh, obviously, he's he's down, but he's he's has he has a good uh, mindset about it, and uh, you know he's just eager to 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 get the the surgery done so he can get right right into rehab and get be back to work. Um, I have no doubt in my mind he'll come back better than he was. He's made of the right stuff, and um, yeah, he'll he'll be back. Did you know immediately how he how he hurt himself when that was happening? Yeah, no, I knew I knew what it was right away, just, just because of the way it happened and um, his pain on the ground. I knew he's dealing with an Achilles for a while now, and um, so it was it wasn't a shock to me. Fred, how, what was your assessment? Just kind of your first year with uh, Steve Wilkes. You know, I thought it went well. I think it's it, people are obviously going to be critical just because of. Um, you know, when you go from having the number one defense one year and then a guy comes in and you're not the number one defense again, it's like, oh, well, what happened? It's, well, I mean, it go, there's a lot more that goes into it. And it was a hard job for him all along because he was coming into a system where it was something that he didn't run. You know, he had to come and learn what we did. And, uh, you know, we, we were the number one defense a year ago, and it's hard to sustain that type of play. But we still were a top defense in this league, and I think we played our best ball when it was needed. Fred, you Fred, when you sense. watched the film, what did you pick up from it or what? Or watched it yeah I mean I just can't speak to how proud I was watching it um yeah I, I we had a plan uh, to want to because nobody gave us a chance in that game especially defensively uh to to play against those guys and you know when we were up 10 to 3 at half and we said we had to go out and finish and we had, like I said, we had opportunities at the end of the game, at the end of overtime, to go out there one last time and, and make that stop that we needed or get take the ball away, and we just didn't do it. And, you know, I look at myself and where I could have made a play or two there. And so that's really what it came down to, but I can't speak to how proud I am of, of the guys. What are you talking about Mahomes and Morgan? I know situation. You've seen it now a couple times in these big games. When, when Patrick gets it, you know, you guys shut him down for three-plus quarters last time and did a good job for, you know, most of this game and then – come down the you know, fourth quarter in this, this drive. What is the difficulty of dealing with him in those kind of situations? Yeah, I mean, he's just uh, he's a gamer. He's a gamer through and through. You know, he has that ability to use his legs when he needs to. He can make the off, you know, off schedule throws and he knows where the ball's supposed to go when you pressure him. Um, so you can't just sit back and play, you know, zone coverage because, you know, he can run the ball. You can't just blitz him because, you know, he'll put, get the ball where it needs to go. Um, you know, I have, I have a lot of respect for him. He earned it. Fred, uh, Brandon got really emotional talking about this particular group of guys. What is it about this team that made it so special? Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it was it was a special group. I think every year is a special group here. You know, I, I don't know any different. I think uh, the Niners are is. I was such a. I'm so grateful to have been drafted to an organization like this because I don't know any different. And we we bring guys in who football means a lot to them. You know, and we go through hard things throughout a season together. You know, a three-game losing streak where, you know, people are like, "Oh, well, is it the same? You know, or is it the same Niners that we thought that we thought they were?" And so you got to come out of that, and um, you know, some of those games that are in the postseason where you think all hope is lost, and you come back and you win those moments, and it's like you go through such hard things throughout the season, and then to not come up with the ultimate goal, it hurts, and um, you know, you build such special bonds with the, with your teammates. So yeah, it's. Uh, it sucks when you know you know it's not going to be the same group next year. With Brandon specifically, you 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 pushed him and you you talked about how you pushed him. How important is he is he to this team? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm super proud of Brandon. Um, the his his growth and development as a player, as a as a as a you know a teammate to to the rest of the team has been so amazing to see. And I, I you know I I saw something in him early, and I knew that you know I, I wanted to see it brought out of him. So that's why I did push him, and that's why I was on him. And I'm not I'm not sitting here saying I made Brandon who he is by any means at all. Like Brandon made who Brandon is, and uh, you know he's just getting started. That's the that's the scary part for the, the the league is that you know he has so much room for improvement on top of already being an All Pro and Pro Bowl receiver. So um, yeah.
Fred, given, given, the, one. given the success the Chiefs have had, is there a sense of, I don't think a lot, a lot about AFC teams, that this is going to be the team that we're probably going to have to overcome at some point? And if so, how much will you think about what you can do to overcome that team in the coming months? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they've earned that right to, to be the team that, you know, teams have to look to, to that we got to knock them off. And, um, I mean, I haven't really thought much about that yet. I'm always just thinking about, you know, where did we – where did we go wrong? Where where could we have been better? You know, in those in those crucial situations, those critical moments, because it's not really about how you start; it's about how you finish at the end. And um, yeah, you, you know, you think you're prepared, but there's always another level of preparation there.